Hi, hello. Uh, good morning to you all. Thank you so much for coming to join me today. Um, this video is the first one that I'm doing in my collaboration with my friend Amy. That's Amy Crafty Cat USA. Um, she asked me, well, I asked her ages ago if we could perhaps do another collaboration and she said yes. Um, and it, I've been, when I say putting it off, that I've had things going on like going away for the month and all sorts of other things that I've had going on. So it's taken us a while to get going, but this is the start of it. Um, and I just want to thank you all as well for those of you that have um, sent me, um, ask me how I'm doing. I've not been very well, um, still not cooking on gas, um, getting better, but it's been a really slow process. So bear with me. Um, and I do have some commitments coming up, as Amy said in one of her videos. But what I intend to do is get some videos done up front so that I can um, schedule them to come out. So I'll try to keep up with Amy. Um, the theme that we're doing is grunge. So grunge, I, I do struggle. <laughs> Maybe that's why I've taken so long to get going on this. I do struggle with grunge because I think I've got to make everything dark and but you haven't. So I've had a think about what I want to do. And I've decided to go with Amy's, um, I forgot what the called now, I've turned the camera on. I think it's Grungy Wallpapers. It's, um, I'll put the link below, but they're all kind of floral grungy papers because that's what I decided I liked. So I'm not going to go dark, dark, really deep grungy, but I've also incorporated some of the abandoned papers as well that I've used before and also some of her um, advert because they're kind of grungy as well. They've got stains on them and things. So that's what I'm going with. So I don't know what Amy's doing. I don't know what paper she's going to use, but I've got mine all printed out and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm making a slightly smaller journal. I've got this cover and it's a Theosaurus and it was an old an old book. It's quite tatty and torn and I think I'm going to have to put a new... Um, spine in it but that's what that's the book I've decided that I'm going to use I know Amy's cover is just absolutely fantastic um I've tried to do covers like Amy and they just don't work out <laughs> they just don't work but I'm going to use this and what I've decided I'm going to do to make it grungy is I've got some grungy lace some crocheted lace and I'm going to put that on there see I have been thinking about it I'm going to put a um, book plate on and that's going to have a tag in it. So I'll kind of cut it round. I can't remember which way I had it. I think I had it that way. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. I'm going to put a flower on there. This is it so far. And I'm going to put a button on there. So that's kind of, and it's, I think I'm going to have to extend the spine. And I've got some um, tea dyed paper that if I need to expend, expend extend the spine I can do um, but if I do I will keep that I will add that back on if you know what I mean so it will look like that on the front which I thought was nice and I think it's grungy so that's what I'm going to do my decision was made so I'm going to put that somewhere safe says me so the first thing that I decided to do was <clears throat> excuse me was put my papers together. I think I want five signatures. So I've printed all of Amy's papers. I've added some old papers and I've added my tea dyed papers. I'll try and list below the kits that I'm using. So I've got five signatures sort of clipped together. Um, and I thought I would just put them together as I think I might use them. No guarantees that they will ever stay in the way that I'm putting them. And I don't know what I want on the front. I thought I might go with blues at the start of each, but I might change that. Who knows? Um, and in the middle, I want, oh, I would like something in the middle. So I think that will be the middle of this one. So this is from the Abandoned kit so I'm going to fold that that away and then I'm just going to put the papers together 
in no specific order. I love these florals, the grungy, um, I want to say floral, grungy floral wallpaper. I know I should have written it down before I turned the, I was going to say turn the calendar on. Do you know, honestly, um, I might have the blues. I might have the blues. I might alternate. I'm not going to commit myself. I'm not going to cut any down, but I'm going to kind of put them in some sort of order as I go through, just so that we can have a look at what, what I've got. I've got some rag paper there and it's definitely grungy. I've got a piece of, um, this is actually Wuthering Heights, so I'm sure there's no rude words in that. So I think I'm safe to use it. And I've tea dyed that with some plastic lace laid over it. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to use some tea dyed paper. And I'm going to use... I've back to back um, printed Amy's um, vintage adverts. So that's two. These front papers are printed full size. Um, in the UK, when you print USA letter size, it comes it comes slightly bigger. You miss the edges. So I have to shrink it down, which was perfect for this size book. This book, by the way, is one, two, three, four, five. It's about five and a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, I've just counted that completely wrong. I am really out of sorts. Eight inches, five by eight. So to, to print them slightly smaller is, has been quite good, but I, I still, I don't know what I want on the front. I don't know whether to put these ones on the fronts or the slightly bigger ones or just mix it up a bit. It'll, I'll get the feel for it, I'm sure, as I go, as I start making more of the journal. But these, these papers, I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous and I think it would look nice. I think I do like the thought of having blues. This is a different kit to that one. That's the grungy blue and this is the grungy floral. Um, again, I think I'm going to put kind of the abandoned house ones in the middle of all of them is what I'm thinking at the moment. Try and get the flowers the right way up. And put that one. And then that one I think might be the inside. So I've got the grungy paper. What else have I got? We've got Wuthering Heights. So this is definitely grungy, isn't it? No fear there. I think three of them have got the, um, it's like baking parchment that I've laid my, tea, my papers on to tea dye. I might put that next to the lighter one so it shows up better. Yeah, that might go there. That one there. Got the ads to put in. Let's put the adverts there in this one. And I think I might put that one there. I know I've got to trim some of these down, um, but as I say, I'm not I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Okay. And then I might go with that one. That's going to go in the middle. That one. And I might have too many papers as well. I'm kind of aware that I've, I might have gone a little bit overboard um, these are Amy's industrial papers, 
So on the insides, I know I've used her industrial papers. Can't remember that one off the top of my head. Um, I've also used her grungy papers. I'm trying to go with the grunge theme, folks. I think I might want to put that one at the front in this one. It's nothing to say we have to keep them in any kind of order, is there? That one. I'll put that one there. Maybe put that one on there. Maybe put that one there. Where's that one gone? So what's that? That one's got the paper in it. That one's got the thingy in it. That one's got the paper in it. That one's got that in it. And then this last one, again, I'm going to have that in the middle. So that's from the, I'm sure it's the Abandoned Kit. Love this one. I think out of all these floral wallpapers, this one was my, was my favourite. Okay, and then... I might not use these. I might. I'm at that stage where I'm, you know, when you start a journal, you're just not quite sure what you want to put where. But at least I'll get a feel for it. I quite like that there. I have Wuthering Heights there. I think we'll have that one there. And I think I might put that one there and that one there. I know when I first started making journals, I was sure that there was a um, a rule that where you had to put papers in a certain place. And I used to watch people's videos and kind of make a note of where they'd put papers and where they put tags and things. But you don't. You don't need to. It doesn't work like that. Um, how many have I got there? One, two, three, four, five. So that is five papers. So I might have that one first. That one may go second. Third, fourth. Oh, I don't want two stripy ones next to each other, do I? So I might swap those two about. Okay. As I say, I know that I've got to trim these down or fold them in or something. But they're my five signatures. And that's how full that makes it. So by the time... I know I'm going to have to put a different spine in because by the time I've put things in it, it's going to be way too big. But that, that does feel nice. So I will end up taking that spine off. I thought I would. Um, I did think that I would. Just thinking I've got three. I don't want... I've got three stripes. No, that would put. Stri I was just wondering whether I should put the stripes first, second, and third, but um, that would go there, that would go there, and then that stripe one would go on there, wouldn't it? How does that look? Stripes, flowers, stripes. 
flowers stripes. I quite like that format, I think. So I think I might, I might put the stripes and the blue flowers as the front papers. It does feel like I've got an awful lot of papers. And as I say, I might end up taking some out. But at least I've got I've got a feel for what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. And I've kind of got an idea as to what size um, ephemera I can make. So that's my papers, subject to change, and my book. Um, I wanted to, on the inside of these, um, line them with some just some collage paper so I think I want to line them with that so that will make it grungy as well so I've got those two and I wanted to maybe use this envelope and put that in it as well so we'll see we'll see where that takes me okay um I had to go at mixed media I love to see mixed media but it I really feel I struggle with it because when I do it and I know what you'll say when I do it, it it doesn't look like other people's and I know what you're going to say to me is Carol you need to practice and I know that practice makes perfect but when I do it and it doesn't turn out how I like it it depresses it depresses me and I think oh why have I bothered but I have made some kind of um collage bits these are guest checkbooks that I've put some um tissue paper over that had you know it was like vintagey type tissue paper so I might use those I don't know so I've got them I did some tags and these are just normal um tags that I've kind of put um inks on and stamped they look grungy so I might use those and then I've got a collage just book page that I've collaged and then I've um, put inks and things on. So I might use that. So I'm going to put those in my could use box. I've also got some bits and pieces um, that I've previously made. I've got one of Amy's CD cases that I've printed two to a page. I print, I shrank it down. And that will be the right, a good size to put in there because the full size ones I don't think would fit on the smaller pages. Um, I made this a while ago one of the little Tim Holtz guys and I think that's Amy's paper from I can't remember I can never remember can I I'm rubbish um, and I think that's the 1920s something and when I say something it's not that I can't remember it's the kit's called 1920 something I think I could be wrong again um, but that adds a little bit of blue that I like so I might use that I've got this that I did um, ages ago as I think it might have been, I wonder if it was one of the stack challenges that I did, but that's an old envelope that I've stitched some um, fine netting on with a couple of um, photo images. So that would fit. So I might use that. So I've just looked through bits that I've previously made to try and see love that geezer. Try and see what I've got that I might be able to use. Um, so that's my box of could use these. And then I thought just for today to kind of play and just to kind of get my head thinking. I want to use the Tim Holtz people. You know I like Tim Holtz along with Amy's papers. So I've got some Tim Holtzy people and bits and pieces. Don't really know what I'm doing here, you know. Um, <laughs> and there's more. I think I just pulled a, a handful of stuff out. And what I've done is I watched Amy as I do, and in her, I don't know if it was her fifty stack challenge or if it was um, her Lou Fru Fru, nothing but neutrals, um, where the, Amy used. Um, playing cards and so and she put paper on the playing cards and then covered it with um, like tissue paper so that's what I've done so you can see that was the playing card 
and then I've die cut, I've got that shape die cut and I've cut the middles out of them. So, and I've also um, done some collage paper that I've die cut a circle out of. So I'm thinking that I could use these, not all of them, because you don't want too much of the same thing in a journal, do you? But I thought, well, we could use some of them. But I thought if I make, I think I had five of these, one, two, three, I have. So I thought that I could use each of these so that each signature's got one of these in somewhere, but I want them to be different. That's what I want. So let's have a crack. Let's have a crack at those. So I want to use the Tim Holtzy City Down people. How many? I've got a red, two black. I've got three black and two red. Okay. I like these ladies because they sit, they're sitting in there, aren't they? And they could hang below it. The feet can dangle because if I look at the papers, oh dear, it's all going to collapse. Let's just have a look. So I could put it quite like them there, actually. So they could have their feet dangling and they could be a tuck there. So they could be glued on on three sides and then there could be a tuck spot there, couldn't they? was my thought. So I could use a journal card, I could use, I could make a journal card, but something could go behind there. So I could do that. Okay, that I'm, that's what I'm going to do on this one. I will do that. Might jazz them up a little bit. I'm going to have the feet dangling and I want something to go behind there. I have printed out more of Amy's papers. Oh gosh, Carol, where did you put them? I've got some of her papers from the um, Grungy Patriot kit and I've got more of the florally type flowers. You're not going to see an awful lot. I quite like that actually. I quite like that you can see the red and the blue. What else have I got here? I quite like that with a couple of flowers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use I'm going to I do find making a start on the journal is absolutely the hardest thing for me to do. I really do. Because I, I have got no idea where that journal's taking me. I'm going to glue that on there so that I can see those flowers. And they're going to go on there, yep. Make a decision, Carol. I might not have time to do all of these. Um, I think I will stitch around these as well. I think. So I want those flowers to be on there. Okay. Then I'm going to cut it out. Let's make sure that I've got nothing underneath it. Has anyone else ever done that? You go to cut something out. I've lost my blade. You go to cut something out and you think, oh, that was hard to cut. And then you realise it's because you'd left something underneath it. Never good. So let's cut this one out. So I think although I'm using five of these cards... I think they will all look different because I think my blade's a bit dull. They dull very quickly, these blades, but I have to say, I mean, they're very cheap. They're not expensive to buy. 
<clears throat> so I'm doing this video on the Friday and the vid it will come out on Tuesday um, and I've just got on on my mind um, that actually I today's the day I go for my I've got a chest x-ray so I've got that on my mind so if I'm a little bit um, if I sound a little bit unsure you know it's a bit nerve-wracking being told you need a chest x-ray so I'm off to the hospital today it's took me ages to get it booked as well you know you ring the number and it rings and rings and rings and rings nobody answers the phone so I think I want those ladies to be sat on there. I hope I'm on screen. Silly me if I'm not. Um, I'm just, I don't know if I will put it here, but I do kind of like it on there. I think that looks quite nice, doesn't it? But I think those ladies will look nice there against Amy's papers. And you've got to say, you've got to agree with me, that is grungy. It is grungy. And I think I will use, I had a little ticket, didn't I? I had a little ticket that I can put there. I like that. What do we think? Do we like it? I have got some Tim Holtz um, tape. I don't know if I want to use any or not, and I can't find the end. Is that the end? I don't know. I might look for a quote or something. Oops. But I'm definitely going to go with those ladies. So I will stick... Stick them on there. And I might want that overhanging slightly as well. Should have inked that a little bit before I put it on. I think the more, you know, once you start a journal, you get you get into the swing of what you want to do. I want them about there. Am I on screen? Yeah. So I'm, I am going to turn them around. Pencil. My pencil's getting stubby. I love it when I've got a stubby pencil. I'm just going to put a mark there because that's where I don't want to glue. And then I'm going to put them on there. And I, I think if I like the first thing that I make, I feel that I'm off to a good start. About there. About there. I bought these glue bottles. I think I've mentioned it in one of my other videos. They are big to hold. <laughs> but I think that's made a very nice pocket. So I like that and I think that it looks nice on one of these pages. Looks nice on that one. Oh, I like that because you can see the little feet dangling. The little feet dangling there, look. <laughs> Is that silly? Probably. You're probably all going, oh, Carol, you're off again. But it looks nice against the blue. I could put it on there with the number seven. See, I like it on there as well. So I'm not going to stick this one in. So in the comments, let me know which page you think I should put it on. The page with the number seven. The blue flower page so that you can see the little feet dangling. Or the page with the yellow, like the hessian dark colours. Let me know which one you think and I'll go I'll go with the consensus, whoever, whichever. And I will stitch around that bit. I'm not going to stitch on them, though. So I like that. I'm happy with that one. I 
had a thought that I could do one as a tuck, an up tuck, if I glued it on the page. So I've got, so it would be, I'm just going to use this one as a, an example. So if it was on a page, it could be a tuck up, which I thought would be different. Quite like that idea, which means I'm either going to have to cut him down a little bit because there's not enough to stick or... Or I would have to, I'm just looking to see what Papers of Aim is. I quite like that one. Reminds me of an old fashioned pinstripe. I could actually extend it a little. I'm gonna try that because I've not done this before. it very wide because I just need it to enable me to make that pocket a little bit bigger. Excuse me ladies, I think I'll need two of those. It does, it's an old piece of fabric look because you can see where it's it's given way. Amy, she finds the best images, I have to say. I'm so pleased that she agreed to do a, another collaboration with me. I know her journal's going to be so different to mine. Um, but that's always fun to see how, how we do things differently. And some of it we end up doing quite similar, similarly as well even though we do our videos at different times. Um, so what I was thinking was, if I was to glue that on there, then that would be the bit that I glued down so that that would be able to tuck up all of it. So let's, if I just trim that to be the size And then he'll fit, he'll fit up there. I like that, I'm going to do that, I am going to do that. So I'm really what I'm doing is extending the pocket just marginally, not by a lot. And I want to be careful not to, um, well, I need to make sure that it's not going to hinder when we put that tag, that's going to be a tag, that gentleman. It's not going to get in the way. And again, I'm going to, ah, glue, come on, glue, glue. I'm going to stitch all the way around that. So that will get attached better. And then this one as well. Gonna get glued that side. I'm very curious to see which um, papers Amy's using um, for her grunge. I also want to do a journal using her Halloween kit. I love them. Glue that under there, like so. And they're not level at the bottom, but it's a grungy journal. So if I was to glue this on a page, it would be like that. So it would be glued at the top. 
of lot oh is my mister so and then that would go in there like that and i think i might put some of the tape on that one this one say let's just open it up claims for errors must be made on receipt of goods <laughs> yep claims for errors oh, it's stuck to my finger now Claims for errors. Must be made. I know that you can only just see it. But I like it. On receipt of goods. So maybe this gentleman's gone in to make a complaint. I might actually take it, put another piece across the top. I'd have to cut it, rip another one out, wouldn't I? I might put another one across the top, going that way, so that it frames it. I just need to be careful that it's not, whatever I do, isn't going to make it too big. No, it won't, will it? Because if I put another piece up there, and then he can go in there. And I can print this again. That's the beauty of um, of having digitals, isn't it? You can print them over and over and over again. But I think that I will add on there like that. I think it kind of frames him like that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Let's put it on. And again, as I said, it is going to get stitched around, so that will be stitched onto it. And then I think I will find some blue fabric to put there as a tab. I don't know if I want to put any more on. I might be doing... Um, Navy blue overload, if I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. I might need to think about that. What do you think? The extra at the bottom or not? Not sure. Not sure, not sure. Do I want it to be him or do I want another gentleman? Oh, he looks quite, uh, yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd make your claims. You wouldn't argue with him, would you? You'd get your claim in. I think I like it without. I think I like it like that, but without the bit at the bottom. Again, let me know what you think. Okay, I'm clock watching because I need to be sorting myself out to get off to the hospital. But I think I'm happy with where I am as my starting point. Um, I 
I know I've only made two. Oh God, she looks nice on the front as well. Oh, now, do you know what? Scrap the rest. I think that if that's the front, the first um, signature, I think that those two ladies have to be there so that when you open the journal, you've got those two bright and breezy faces. If I ha didn't have to stitch around it, I would glue them on there, but they are going on there. And then this one is going to go in one of the other signatures. But I think, or maybe, maybe, baby, maybe I end up putting one of these on the front of each. Now that's an idea, isn't it? So I've got five of the playing cards. So I think, in which case I will put another piece at the bottom, I think they're going to be, the, the, the front page of each signature is going to have a playing card on. Isn't it funny how you change your mind on things? But I think that, it, I think if I put the blue at the bottom as well, I think it frames him. Um, and don't forget, claims for errors must be made on receipt of goods. I know it blends in. I think you can see it there. But I like it. And I think I am going to put one of these on the front of each signature. So it'll go. Well, it doesn't matter if it's black or red, does it? But they, they are going, they're going to be the first ones. So that's where I'm at. Um, I hope you like my start of grunge using Amy's Fabulous Papers. I will list them in the description below. Oh, and I'm just thinking the little bits that I've cut out, they're going to make nice little journal cards, aren't they? Or, or little top tucks. See, the ideas are starting to come. OK, so that's what I'm going to do. My lovely ladies are going to be on the front so that when you open it, they're what you see. So I hope you like it. Um, take care, folks, and I'll be back with another video on my collaboration with my good friend Amy. Take care. See you later. Bye.